Hi, welcome to the Quick Street Workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you my progress on um, the magnet motor. So I had to go a few steps back. I did some <clears throat> more research and I came upon this interesting video. Actually, I saw it a while ago. And, but because it's in Russian, I didn't understand what the guy was saying. So I looked in the transcript and I translated everything and I read through it. And it looked very promising. And he also uh, offered a free... Um, 3d printing files so I took his files and I modified it a little bit um, because I like the way his um, his motor is activating the magnet by using other smaller magnets instead of having little wires and and cogs and things that that uh, try to mechanically move it So, this is what I have, 3D printed these parts, so I've modified it, um, I made, like I said last week, I made these fins to be flat rather than making it uh, this way. It also printed easier and I made it in two halves, so these two halves come together like that, and that is the rotor, and I added like I said last week, I added extra points here. Just if I want to put eight magnets, then why not? Um, so the magnets will go like that from these points all around. And then the thing that activates the, the mechanism goes there into those places and I've made this axle which got um, a piece of sharpened tungsten in the, in the tip. I solder soldered it um, to, the, to the tip there and this is a piece of uh, polycarbonate so I want to make everything transparent um, and this also if you shine a light through this um, you can actually see this is also transparent so there's no nothing hidden inside there shine a light through it's transparent then this is uh, the idea is that this main axle, I have to thread it all the way through. So there's the main axle and it's going to have a bearing at the top here. This uh, will turn on that very small point there. So as you can see it, it actually it's got very little friction and I can also move this where I want it. Just give it a little spin and it spins freely. And as you can, um, I'll put the link uh, in the description to that other video um, of the Russian guy and you'll see his model. The principle works. So this is my little magnet flipper and it's all, all 3D printed and I've got holes here to put some adjusting screws in, in that area where that, that little thing flips over. Like that I can put a stopper on each side. 
it's 90 degrees in total of the movement. And then the magnet, I can just push through that middle thing there. And this has also got a tungsten tip at the bottom. So I can adjust the tension here to make it really very, very easy to move. See there, it's just under gravity, it flips. And then um, these parts uh, that you see busy printing, they are for the back support, to support the bearing. And so I can move, I can move this, I can move this um, also this way and that way to align it properly with, with the correct place. And I think this is going to work next week. I'll show you how everything came together. It's a little bit time consuming working all of this out. So I didn't have a lot of time to fabricate things. Um, I, th I think uh, next week it's going to be more uh, physical and less explaining what I'm doing. Next week maybe <clears throat> um, I'll have already uh, been able to have some experiments and maybe success or alterations and as far as this other one goes I fiddled around with this and like I said there's a lot of problems with this um, setup here although I'm sure I could have got it to to work if i kept on fiddling with it but i'd rather have something that i can adjust have something that is 3d printable and shareable um, if everything if the whole construction is 3d printable parts then it other guys can replicate it and and also um, modify it and and the community can develop this further. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Cheers.